Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this lab, we will review the creation of a local user database on the router and introduce the banner function. This will be a fairly short lab, but try to complete it on your own first and then continue watching this video if you have trouble or watch it after to check your solution. Step one is to use PC1 to connect to R1 via the console port. They're already connected by a cable, so let's click on PC1, desktop, terminal, and press OK to accept the default configurations. Step two is to create two users on R1. Last time we created user accounts with passwords. This time we will use secrets. Same as with the enable password and enable secret, passwords are not encrypted, but secrets are encrypted by default. Enable, conf t, username ccna, secret, Cisco, with a capital C. Remember, the username isn't case sensitive, but the password or secret is. Next user, username ccnp, secret, Cisco. I'll quickly type do show run to check that they're encrypted. As you can see, they are encrypted by default. Step three is to set the console port to use the local database to authenticate users. Line console zero, login local. That's it. Step four is to set a message of the day banner of welcome to Packet Tracer and a login banner of authorized users only. Banners are messages that display before or after users log in. In this case, the message of the day banner will be displayed above the login banner and both will be displayed before a user logs in. So, exit. To make the banner of the day, we use this command, banner MOTD. Then I'll use the question mark to show the next option. As you can see, we need to enter a delimiting character to indicate the start and end of the message. If you type the message directly, it will think that the first character is the delimiting character, and it will be excluded from the message itself. You can use whatever you want, but I'll use an asterisk. Asterisk, welcome to packet tracer, asterisk. Okay, now the same process for the login banner. Banner, login, asterisk, authorized, users only, asterisk. Now we've set up the two banners. Finally, let's log out and see if our messages work. End, log out. There we go. Before we log in, you can see our message of the day and then our login banner. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comments section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.